This section will show you how to take care of your Foley catheter. We will show you how to empty the bag, clean the penis around the catheter, clean the inside of the bags, switch bags, and how to properly keep the catheter in place. Let's go over how to empty the Foley catheter bag. First, unclip the green clip from the bag. This clip keeps the part that empties from dragging on the ground and collecting bacteria. Next, locate the metal clip. This clip keeps the urine from coming out of the bag. Gently lift up the edge of the metal clip until it releases from the rest of the clip. Empty the bag into the toilet. Once empty, reclamp the metal clip. Take some toilet paper and wipe the end off, and then reclip the green clip. Every day, you need to completely clean the outside of the catheter tubing and the tip of the penis. In the hospital, you may have heard this referred to as catheter or pericare. You may clean the tubing either in the shower with soap and water or outside of the shower with a baby wipe. Do not use alcohol wipes at the tip of the penis. Make sure to always clean away from the tip of the penis. Clean the catheter tubing starting at the tip of the penis and working away and down the tubing. Begin by cleaning around the tip of the penis, working back and away from the opening. Next, be sure to clean around the thighs, scrotum, and down the tubing all the way to the bag. You may wonder why it's important to clean away from the tip of the penis. This is because it helps keep bacteria from getting into the urethra and bladder, which could cause infection or other problems. Do not use alcohol wipes to clean. Only use wet wipes or soap and water. You will need to clean the inside of the tubing and bags every time you change them. To clean the tubing and bag, you will need these items. A syringe or funnel, water, white distilled vinegar or bleach, and a container for the solution. If you are using vinegar, mix the solution using three parts water to two parts vinegar. If you are using bleach, mix the solution using one tablespoon bleach and one half cup water. Insert the funnel or syringe into the end of the tubing. Pour the solution into the tubing, let it drain through the tubing and into the bag. Shake the bag to make sure the solution covers all areas of the bag. Leave the solution in the tubing and bag for a few minutes. Empty the bag and rinse it out with cold water. Hang the bag and tubing in a clean, dry place. Now, we'll show you how to switch between bags. Find an area of the house where you can be seated in a chair or a hard-floored surface. Gather these items, the new bag ready to be assembled, and an alcohol wipe. Begin standing up to make sure you have drained all the urine in the tubing and bag. This will help avoid leaks while changing the bag. Clean the tip of the new tubing with an alcohol wipe. Leave the tubing tip covered with the wipe until you are ready to connect. And remove the leg strap from the tubing. Disconnect the tubing where the larger tube comes out just below the Y fork of the tubing. Reconnect the new tubing. Finally, reattach the leg strap in its proper place. While the Foley catheter is in place, the tubing needs to stay close while being securely attached to your leg. You will be sent home with a stat lock or sticker placed on your leg. The sticker should be placed on the upper inner part of the thigh. The tubing from the urethra to the stat lock should be somewhat loose. This will help keep the tubing from getting pulled. You will also have a leg strap for extra protection. The leg strap goes on the upper thigh. It should be secured tight enough to help keep the tubing from being pulled, but not so tight that you lose blood flow. It is also helpful to secure the strap right under the blue port on the catheter tubing. To remember that the green needs to be under the blue, think of the green grass under the blue sky. 
This makes sure the tubing can't get too far before the port catches on the strap. If you will be wearing the Foley catheter for longer than one week, you will be sent home with a replacement stat lock and leg strap. If you have to replace the stat lock, please make sure to place it in the exact same place as the one you left the hospital with.